Hey, Collider fans, John Roca and Dorian Parks here. Joe and Anthony Russo have talked about why certain scenes in the trailer were not in Avengers Infinity War. We're going to talk about that next. All right, Dorian, Joe and Anthony Russo, they were on Josh Horowitz's Happy, Sad, Confused podcast. Apparently, it's a podcast I need to be listening to more because people just reveal stuff on this podcast. I need to get on that. We're getting this from our folks over at Collider.com. They compiled these mm -hmm. quotes. And there were some trailers. People noticed that there were scenes in the trailers. What's been happening since the film came out. There were certain scenes in the trailer that were we, not in yeah. the movie, right? We don't The Captain America shield thing, we don't see. The uh, Who the hell are you guys from Thor? Uh, and the, the Stormbreaker scene. scene. Was that? That, that scene. Well, and that's what I'm getting to. Yeah. yeah, and then the hero shot, which is the big shot of them all running in slow motion, which everybody got jazzed and excited about seeing the Avengers in motion. Well, Joe Russo talked about that, and he said that we use all the material that we have at our disposal to create a trailer. We look at the trailer as a very different experience than the movie, and I think audiences are so predictive now that you have to be very smart about how you craft a trailer because an audience can watch a trailer and basically tell you what's going to happen in the film. We consume too much content, so at our disposal are lots of different shots that aren't in the movie that we can manipulate through CG to tell a story that we want to tell specifically for the purpose of the trailer and not for the film. So it seems like they purposely shot this or had this done yeah. so that they could give the vibe to the people in the audience watching the trailer, excited to see the movie, but knowing it wasn't going to be in the movie. What's your reaction to his words? No, I'm glad they actually did that because beforehand, like this this whole gift, that whole group scene, I think yeah. that was one of the most used gifts that we've seen on Twitter or on social media before the movie. Mm -hmm. And then when we come out of the movie, I remember seeing this gift again and I'm like, hold up, Hulk wasn't even Hulk like after he got two pieced up by yeah. Thanos at the very beginning, we never saw him again. So I was like, right. oh, maybe this is just a cutout scene. I wasn't sure what was going on. But for them to come out and say like, hey, this is we just shot this for the trailer. I think mm -hmm. that was smart because a lot of fans like ourselves, we analyze, break down every movie trailer, every yeah, every absolutely. TV spot, trying to find Easter eggs or mm -hmm. like trying it's to find narrative. Joy of it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So for them to just shoot a fake scene, I, I think Game of Thrones did something similar to that for the season seven yeah. finale. This so has happened like, numerous yeah, times. Just to it, it, yeah, go ahead. Sorry. No, just to like do like fakes. Uh, uh, fake scenes just yes. so the paparazzi leakers don't know what yeah, the Yeah, they shot multiple end. endings yeah, that were exactly. not the same ending. Yeah, exactly. So I think it's very up. smart. And now mm -hmm. I, I, it's reassuring because it's like we don't know we don't know how they're going to market Avengers 4, but we know it's going to they're going to do some tricks trick stuff like this because yeah. it's like but how do you market that with half the Avengers gone now? So yeah. I'm excited to see what they do with that as well. Exactly. And Anthony Russo said that shot that you're referencing was never in the movie in the version that you saw. It was never even created for the movie in that version. It was literally created in that version for the trailer. And fans, uh, the fans have also pointed out about the Thanos line where he says, fun isn't something one considers when balancing the universe, but does put a smile on my face. Now, he, he did address this a different explanation here. He said that was a scripted line for the movie that we replaced with another line that we thought was a little more specific to the storytelling with Gamora. I think he used to say that on Nowhere to Gamora uh, when he emerged from the reality cloak as the ether exposed him. And I think we changed it to something that was a little more specific to the storytelling, which makes a lot of yeah, sense and, here. And, and this, this is not a misdirect. This is more a matter of like we shot the trailer or we mm -hmm. cut the trailer way before we finished the film and when we finished the film we made adjustments and that happens sometimes. And another thing with Gamora they did like one scene in the trailer where she's like with the snap thing and mm -hmm. it made it seem like she was talking to Tony because right. he was asking him like what's his name and stuff like that so right. them doing those tricky cuts to where like, and you said again like with the Wakanda get this man a shield yeah. it's actually him popping up to save Steven I mean to save Wanda and, uh, and Vision so yeah. I think it's just cool how they're telling this narrative but still not not giving it away without doing it. Exactly. And then following up, Christopher Marcus and Stephen McFeely also did an interview with Yahoo. Marcus said, we they're the writers of Avengers Infinity War. They said, we filmed a lot of things. It's an awesome moment. You cannot do it when he's talking about the hero shot. But then you look at your movie and go, is it working in the context of the film? And sometimes, sad as you are, best place for it is the trailer and not the movie because it screws up the story. And as far as Hulk goes, he goes, yes, he was in this hero shot and he wasn't in the movie as Hulk, but you'll find out more and why in Avengers 4. So I'm looking forward to that. And, I am too. And I, you know, the whole point of a trailer is to get you excited for a movie, get your butt in the seat to pay and watch it. And it did that definitely yeah, for yeah. all of us. I'm sure, Dorian, you're included in that as well. You wanted to see this. so. But I think the film was so great, even without this hero slow motion yeah, shot. With like the next scene right after that, mm -hmm. or the, the biggest scene of the movie, in my opinion, was Thor, Groot, and um, Rocket coming yes. down from the realm or wherever they were yeah, at yeah, with, yeah. That, with the Stormbreaker. From the best planet. scene, yeah. best MCU entrance ever. So that was <laughs> the highlight yeah. for me. So well, I'm Mark Riley is a big fan of that. 
them together and wants to see them in a film I mean, together. Yeah, they need a spinoff movie. Yeah, I agree. We'll see what happens. A lot of spinoff movies off this film. All right, well, let us know what you thought about this. Do you, about Joe and Anthony Russo's comments and about Christopher Marcus's comments as well in the comments section below. Let us know what you thought about what Dorian had to say, what I had to say. And remember to like and share this news video on your social media and subscribe to Collider for more news videos just like this.